First tonight, a prominent state lawmaker's voter registration is at stake. Republic, Republican Senate Majority Leader Jack Whitfer won re-election earlier this month in the newly drawn District 19. But does he really live there? KCCI investigators looked into the concerns last month, and today the Polk County Auditor heard evidence in the case from both sides. KCCI's Bo Bowman was at today's hearing. Well, Steve, Jack Whitfer says he moved to Grimes following the redistricting process in 2021, but a Grimes woman now claims he didn't move at all. His family continues to live in Ankeny. His kids continue to go to Ankeny schools. His wife confirmed that the family still lives in Ankeny. Republican Senate Majority Leader Jack Whitfer was not in the room Wednesday as Ann Gale and her attorneys presented evidence to County Auditor Jamie Fitzgerald. They say Whitfer's voter registration should be canceled, claiming he does not live at this Grimes condo, as he says. They say utility bills, social media, and package deliveries all prove that Whitver still lives in Ankeny, an area where he served as state senator since 2011. And I'm not sure that where you are living and voting from has anything to do with your Twitter bio. I doubt that is the standard the county commissioners across the state want to start using. Whitver's attorney argued the evidence brought forward wasn't enough to make a ruling, and there could be a difference between where Whitver lives and where his family lives. We stipulate his spouse and three children still live in Ankeny. That's an issue for Jack Whitfer and his spouse. Whitfer's team claims he also received packages at the Grimes condo we visited last month. KCCI knocked on the door at the address listed for Whitfer, but found no one home. We also knocked at the Ankeny home. No one was home, but KCCI found packages addressed to Whitfer on the doorstep. Gail's attorney also claimed Whitfer didn't vote in the November election, stating it's the first time he missed a vote since 2004. I thought, you know, my thought was, you know what, this is just not right. Somebody should do something, and if I'm going to be that somebody, good. If Whitver is found in violation, his voting registration will be canceled. The county auditor has not given a timeline for when he'll release his decision. Steve?